Hello everyone, I am going to make a presentation on safety instrumented system. The topic will be on probability of failure on demand, PFD. The video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly watch and subscribe. Sys probability of failure on demand. For safety instrumented system, probability of failure on demand, PFD calculation is carried out as part of Sys design after the LOPA PHC study. LOPA for stands for a layer of protection analysis, PHC stands for process hazard analysis. After this study, the PFD is being calculated. Probability of failure is calculated term based upon reliability data which reflects the possibilities or likelihood of a SIS fail to operate. So this is based on the any possibility or any likelihood the particular component can fail to operate. Typically expressed as probability of failure and demand, this term is important in determining the design configuration and test intervals. This is again for the safety instrumented system, sensors and logic solvers as well as final control elements. This topic covers the definition of PFD and allowable limits. SIS probability of failure on demand, the higher the safety integrity level SIL, the lower expected PFD average for demand mode or the lower the average frequency of a dangerous failure causing a hazardous event. The hazardous event is happening in plants whenever there is any dangerous failure occurred to a particular component, uh, say a sensor or a final control element components, etc. So, when the sill is higher, the average is getting lower. The required sill shall be derived taking into account the required PFD, prob required probability of failure on demand. Overall, SIS should achieve the target probability of failure on demand for a demand mode system like continuous mode of operation. It should achieve the target frequency of failure necessary to meet a calculated safety integrity level. It, uh, it is based on the calculations of safety integrity level. Okay. Further going on for the PFD, most safety instrumented functions operate in low demand mode. Generally, the process plants, they are operating on a low demand mode as far as the SIS is concerned. These SIS are normally not taking any action but are available when needed. The safety instrumented system is always active but they are not moving components every time. So, as far as the system execution is concerned, they are like a passive system and they operate whenever there is any demand any hazardous events happening in the plant on the particular zone that time only the sensor does the sensing of the process parameter measurement and then the logic solver makes uh, logical calculations and uh, provides an output to the safety instrument system for example for valves and then operate so that means they are always available but keep silent in normal operating conditions only the control part, the BPCS control, basic process control system is doing the action of the plant operations. For a SIF to meet the low demand mode definition, the specific SIF demand must occur less often than once a year and at least two proof tests must be conducted between the demands. So, this is a definition for the low demand mode. So, the demand can occur once in a year and at least between two proof tests that can be conducted between any demands. In demand means any action which is required to operate. PFD is the appropriate failure measure for safety instrumented function SIFs in the low or high demand mode. Okay, now we will go over the values of PFD. Safety integrity requirements, PFD average for continuous mode of operation. See, these are the different safety integrity level. We will go from 1 to 4. So, with the safety integrity level SIL being 1, the PFD property failure demand average rate is should be more than 0 0.01 and up to 0 0.1, 10 power minus 2 to 10 power minus 1. 
so required distribution which is the inverse of this vfd average should be more than 10 and less than 100 and for sil2 it is between 0 0.001 to 0 0.01 the pfd average similarly the risk reduction is from more than 100 to less than 1000 for sil3 this is 0.0001 to 0 0.01 0 0.001 for the sil3 for sil4 the pfd average is 0 0.00001 0.0001 0.0001 so similarly the risk reduction uh, required destruction is on the inverse of this one this is more than 10000 and less than a lakh so these are the different values of the pfd for a continuous mode of operation so average frequency danger frequency is failures per hour for continuous and demand mode of operation this is defined in failures per hour so for sil 1 it is greater than or equal to 10 power minus 6 to less than 10 power minus 5 sil 2 it is greater than 10 power minus 7 to less than 10 power minus 6 and uh, for sil 3 it is greater than 10 power minus 8 to 10 power minus 7 and sil 4 it is greater than 10 power minus 9 to less than 10 power minus 8 note that this is in hours pfd budget now we will know about the pfd budget how it has to be taken into account the probability of failure for a sys loop is really the sum of the probabilities of failure of the individual components namely the sensors logic solver and the final elements so the pfd total is sum of sensors pfd plus logic solvers pfd plus final control elements pfd so weightage factor is distributed as below for sensors it is subject 35 percent for logic solver it is 15 percent for final control elements it is 50 percent why it is kept differently this weightage because logic solvers they are located in the non hazardous area in a safe location and they have only electronic components parts available in the system so probability of failure is very low hence it is considered as 15 percent the lowest of the three and for the other two parts sensors sensors it is kept at 35 percent sensors always stay in the field in the harsh environment with hot weather conditions cold weather conditions windy weather some areas it is snowy and with uh, moisture as well so with all those conditions the cards inside the sensors they have to work and hence the probability of failure may increase compared to the logic solver the final control element which is on of walls it is kept at 50 percent because the wear and tear of the components are very high we have the actuators uh, wall stem and uh, springs for the actuator to restore to the original position solenoid walls and uh, sometimes booster release pilot release like that many components are there so there are number of mechanical components having motion so there is a probability of failure on demand is very high any demand is placed to shut down the valve it may fail sometimes so that's why the budget for the final control elements is at a higher level so by standard followed under many industrial convention the portion of the overall failure probability is normally budgeted to the individual components in the following way this is what is explained in a different methodology 35 percent for the sensor 10 percent for the logic solver and 50 percent for the final element this is why the distribution is having difference because of the wear and tear of the components and which may have much impact on the probability of failure on demand so this is a general industrial standard being used in across the industries okay Further going on the PFD budget, analysis and industrial experience has shown that historically 50% of the time that a SIS fails, it is due to a failure of final element and 35% of the time the failure reason is caused by a failure of the sensor and 15% of the time real fail is caused by a logic solver. So therefore when we design a SIS final limit but pfd to be 50 percent the probability on failure and demand for the final limits is kept at 50 percent 
for a particular safety instrumented system loop so the final element gets a higher weightage because of its more moving components and wear and tear of the different components comparatively the sensor is having little lesser weightage of 35 percentage because it is having very minimum moving components rest is all electronics and some training mechanism for the dp type of sensors or pressure sensors etc so movement mechanical movement is very very less compared to final element and hence the weightage grid is little lower at 30 percentage and thirdly on the logic solver part it is only 15 percentage because they are in the electronic parts and components working from a controlled environment most it is a non hazardous area and then deterioration of the electronics is less compared to the valve or sensors so the weightage is given low at 15 percentage so in all putting the logic sensor logic solver and final element together with all associated components like a booster release and air pressure regulator any pilot layers, sun advance, everything is there. So all the such components put together, the overall probability for a particular safety instrumented function shall be 100 percentage. So that's what is mentioned. Finally, the total sums of the individual PFD average is 100 percentage. Okay, thank you. Thank <laughs> you.